Hi, I'm very excited today that I'm at a pharmacy with actually the different brands of the tampon. And have you ever wondered the safety of different brands of tampons and its potential risk? And if you are interested in knowing more about the topic, please stay tuned. Dr. Luke, what is the tampon controversy? Are tampons dangerous? Should I stop using tampons? I'm sure by now you have heard about the news on the new tampon study that just came out. This discussion revolves around the safety and what is inside conventional tampons, particularly concerning women's health. So are tampons dangerous? Well, super absorbent tampons can increase the risk of toxic shock syndrome, which is a rare but serious bacterial infection that can cause rash, fever, and organ failure. This syndrome was notably linked with certain types of tampons, particularly those with higher absorbency and those made with materials like rayon or combination of rayon and cotton mix. And the second thing you should consider is how tampon can cause vaginal dryness. I know, no one like that. Highly absorbent tampons can leave the vagina drier, promoting bacteria growth, which was believed to continue the growth of a bacteria called Staph aureus, which is the cause of toxic shock syndrome. Many patients always ask me, which brand, Dr. Luke, associated with toxic shock syndrome? Rest assured, modern ladies, modern tampons have improved significantly, and the risk of toxic shock syndrome has been reduced tremendously because of the changes in the materials and the manufacturing processes. If you want to minimize your risk of toxic shock syndrome, here's three hacks you can implement. First is to change your tampons regularly. Aim to change tampons every four to eight hours and avoid leaving a tampon in for more than eight hours. Second, it is to use the right absorbency that best matches your flow. If you take your tampon out and the blood is only at the tip, go down in size. If you experience leaks or have to change it too frequently, go up a size. And finally, try alternating your tampon with pads. Consider using panty liners, pads on the lighter days or overnight. Hopefully these practices can help reduce your risk of toxic shock syndrome and help you maintain overall happy vaginal health. But the question that has the internet buzzing right now is what is the tampon controversial study? So let's take a deep dive. The biggest thing people are talking about in this controversial study is how scientists found lead and arsenic in tampons. This study tested a range of tampons sold in the United States and Europe and found that all 30 tampons tested contained lead. Some even had all 60 metals that were tested in the study. This left many to wonder, are the brands safe? Are they tested? Have tampon brands been have lead all this time? And arsenic? Unfortunately, the study does not explicitly list out which brands were tested. And the findings show that organic tampons had lower levels of lead but higher levels of arsenic compared to non-organic ones that had higher levels of lead and lower levels of arsenic. Additionally, US tampons also had high levels of lead compared to those from Europe. Now, before you worry about whether or not tampons may be poisoning you, it's important to know that the study hasn't yet confirmed. If this metals leach out of the tampon and are absorbed by the body, but it definitely emphasized the need for better testing. Labeling especially emphasizes the need for a great research and focus in women's health. So, should you stop using tampons? Well, before you go into that, I just wanted you to take a moment to remind you to hit that subscribe button if you enjoy learning about women's health, wellness, and fertility. And I also want to hear your thoughts about this tampon study. Were you surprised to find out these metals were present in not just one, but all the tested brands? Do you use tampons regularly? Has the study made you reconsider using tampons altogether? I'm really curious to know what you think, to be sure to leave a comment below. So if you're a regular tampon user and want to switch, what are some tampon alternatives? There are four main alternatives. Pads, menstrual cups, menstrual disc, and period underwear. Personally, I love pads. Pads are easy to monitor the blood flow. I always see, sometimes even ask my patients, how many pads do you use? Because it's easy to gauge the volume. Sometimes when you have blood clots, I'm someone who has endometriosis, sometimes bleeding is a little bit lot, and I always wonder how much bleeding is there. So pads is much easier to monitor. My girlfriends, they use pads, myself, I love pads. So it's really depending on what you like and what's right for your body. So I know everyone know about pads. What about menstrual cups or deep Cups. They are reusable silicone or rubber cups that collect menstrual fluid. They're great eco friendly. You can reuse them. Bam. They're worn up to 12 hours. Menstrual discs are similar to menstrual cups but designed to fit differently. So it's a matter of personal preference which feels better for you. 
There's also period underwear. I know what you're thinking. Is this a diaper? Is it going to spill everywhere? Thankfully, no. They're actually a great alternative to tampons and can also be used along with pads, menstrual cups, menstrual discs to help provide an extra layer of leak protection. This underwear is designed to have absorbent layers that are meant to be comfortable, leak resistant, and reusable, yay, after washing. At the end of the day, choosing the best product for you comes down to what makes you feel most comfortable and secure. It's all about finding what works for you, lifestyle, and for your health. Remember to stay informed, prioritize your health, and know that you have options that can fit your needs and give you peace of mind. If you like this content, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe so YouTube knows you want to see more videos like this. This is Good Luck Luke, wishing you good luck and all the best on your wellness journey. Take care.